on January 21st, 1887, and died in New Hampshire on June 11, 1967. He was a key figure in Gestalt psychology, which focused on learning, perception, and other components as a structured whole. In 1909, Kohler completed his doctoral thesis at the University of Berlin on an investigation on hearing. In 1911, he continued his auditory research as an assistant and lecturer at the University of Frankfurt. In 1912, he was a research subject for a perception experiment run by Max Wertheimer, which started the Gestalt movement. Kohler later became the director of an arthropoid research station at the Prussian Academy of the Sciences at Tenerife, Canary Islands, which is a part of Spain. Here, he conducted experiments on chimpanzee problem solving, which included the ability to devise and use simple tools. His work led to the publication of Intelligenzprüfungen am Menschschaffen in 1917, which means the mentality of apes. This led to a radical revision of the learning theory. In 1920, he published the Physischen Gestalten im Ruhe und im Stationären Zustand, which means the physical gestalt in rest and stationary states. This was published in 1920 and was an attempt to relate the physical process and nervous tissue to perception. In 1921, he was the head of the Psychological Institute and a professor of philosophy at University of Berlin. He directed investigations that explored the Gestalt psychology, and in 1929, he published Gestalt Psychology. Kohler was known for his outspoken criticism of Adolf Hitler. Because of this, in 1935, he went to the United States and became a professor of psychology at Swarthmore College in Pennsylvania until 1955. Structuralism is the idea that perception is reduced to individual parts. This idea was proposed by Edward Titchener. Later on, the idea of gestalt psychology came to view, which was perception as a structured whole. This idea was supported by Wertheimer, Kohler, and Kafka. <laughs> was trial and error in conjunction with reward and punishment, which was operant conditioning. Kohler went on to prove that animals have their own intuition and problem-solving capacity through his experiments. They also use this in conjunction with reward and punishment, and this theory went on as that of Gestalt psychology and disproved that of Edward Thorndike and also that of structuralism. Wolfgang Kohler's experiments with chimpanzees were very important in that they showed that chimpanzees, like humans, were also capable of using tools to accomplish simple tasks like getting food. One example of this was when Kohler tested the primate's problem-solving abilities. He did this by providing the chimpanzees with boxes in order to climb to get to the food at the top. This is our attempt at replicating his experiment. Thank you, 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 thank you,